Tumnus is under arrest for harboring spies and fraternizing with humans. Signed by me, Morgan, Morgan captain, captain of, of the, the secret, secret police. Long live the Queen. I don't think that I'm going to like this place. Who is this Queen, Lucy? She's not a Queen at all. She's a horrible witch. The White Witch. She made an enchantment over the whole country of Narnia. So it is always winter, yet never Christmas. I wonder if there's any point in going on. It's getting colder every minute, and we've nothing to eat. Why don't we just go home? But we can't! We can't just go home! It's all on my account that the poor fawn has been captured by the witch. Fraternising with humans! That human is me! We have to try and rescue him! That lot of good we can do. Shut up, you! What do you think, Susan? I don't want to go a step further, and I wish we'd never come. But I think Lucy is right. We must try to do something for Mr. whatever his name is, the fawn. I agree. But I'm worried about having no food. Why don't we go back and get something from the larder? Well, there's no certainty we'll get back into this country once we're out of it. I think we have to go on. Yes, so do I. Right. If you're not still too high and mighty to talk to me... All right, what is it? Look, we don't even know where this fawn's imprisoned. No. And another thing. How do we know he's in the right? We've been told this Queen's a witch, but we don't know she's in the wrong. Yes, but the fawn saved Lucy. W well, he said he did. How do we know that? Peter! Peter! What is it? There's something moving. Where? There, among the trees. Where? There. It's still there. What is it? Whatever it is, it's dodging us. It's something that doesn't want to be seen. Let's go home. What is it? Some kind of animal. Look, look, there it is. It's a beaver, I saw its tail. It wants us to follow it. Well, the question is, should we? I think it looks a nice beaver. Yes, but how do we know? We just have to risk it. I mean, it's no good just standing here. And I feel I want some dinner. Come on, let's give it a try. Keep close together. We ought to be a match for one beaver if it turns out to be an enemy. Further in. We must go further in. Safe in the open. Of Eve. Well, with some of them. Shh, not so loud, please. We're not safe even here. But what are you afraid of? There's no one here but us. There are the trees. They're always listening. Most of them are on our side, but there are those who would betray us to, to her. You know who I mean. If it comes to talking about sides... How do we know you're a friend? Not wishing to be rude, Mr. Beaver, but uh, we are strangers. Oh, uh, quite right, quite right. Here is my token. It's my handkerchief. The one I gave 
to Mr. Tamnus when he was crying. That's right. Poor fellow. He had only a moment before his arrest and managed to hand it to me. If anything happened to him, he said, I was to meet you here and take you on to... They say Aslan is on the move. Talk here. I must take you where we can have a proper talk. Trifle. <laughs> Merely a trifle. as though Mrs. Beaver is expecting us. Do you see those two hills? My house is between those hills. Edmund, come on. Mrs. Beaver, I found them. I found them. Here are the sons of Adam and the daughters of Eve. So you've come at last, at last, to think that I should live to see this day. The potatoes are boiling and the kettle's singing. And I dare say, Mr. Beaver, you will catch us some fish. Oh, that I will. And you can come and help me. <laughs> That's it. Take your coats off. Good. Good. Oh, sit down. Sit down. We'd much rather help you. Well, then. You can cut the bread. You can put the plates to warm in the oven. And you can draw some beer from the barrel for Mr. Beaver. Got one. Beaver, do please tell us about Mr. Tumnus. Ooh. First things first. Please, start. <sighs> I couldn't eat another thing. Marmalade roll. <laughs> now, will you eat another thing? In this weather, we shan't have any unwelcome visitors. And if anyone has been trying to follow you, they won't be able to find any of our tracks. Now then, 
Mr. Tumnus. A very, very bad business. He was taken off by the secret police. But where's he been taken to? Well, they were heading northwards when last seen, and we all know what that means. We don't. I'm afraid it, it means they were taking him to her house, her palace. But what will they do to him, Mr. Beaver? Can't exactly say for sure, but there's not many taken in there that ever comes out again. All full of statues, they say it is. In the courtyard and up the stairs and in the all. People, she has turned to... Turned to stone. We must do something to save him. I've no doubt you'd save him if you could, dearies. But you've no chance of getting into that house and ever coming out alive. Oh, hang it all. There must be something we can do. This fawn saved my sister at his own risk, Mr. Beaver. We can't just leave him there. To have that done to him. It's no good, son of Adam. No good you're trying, of all people. But now that Aslan is on the move... Who is Aslan? Who is... Wait, don't you know? He's the king. He's the lord of the whole wood. Though he doesn't often come here, you understand. Certainly never in my time, but word has reached us that he has come back. He is in Narnia at this moment. He'll settle the White Queen, all right. It's he, not you, that will save Mr. Tumnus. She won't turn him into stone? <laughs> oh. Lord love you, son of Adam. What a simple thing to say. <laughs> Turn him into stone. Why, if she can stand on her two feet and look him in the face, it'll be the most she can do and more than I expect. No, he'll put all to rights. As it says in an old rhyme in these parts. Wrong will be right when Aslan comes in sight. At the sound of his roar, Sorrows will be no more when he bears his teeth. Winter meets its death. And when he shakes his mane, we shall have spring again. Will we see him? Why, daughter of Eve, that's why I brought you here. I am to lead you to where you shall meet him. Aslan? A man? Certainly not. I tell you, he is king of the wood. Why, don't you know who is the king of beasts? You mean... a lion? Certainly. The lion. The great lion. I shall feel rather nervous meeting a lion. That you will, dearies, and no mistake. But if there's anyone can appear before Aslan without their knees knocking, they're either braver than most or else just silly. Then isn't he safe? Safe? Don't you hear what Mrs. Beaver tells you? Of course he isn't safe. But he's good. He's the king. I want to see him, even if I do feel frightened when it comes to the point. That's right, son of Adam. So you shall. You are to meet him tomorrow, if you can, at the stone table. Where's that? Down the river, a good step from here. I'll take you to it. But what about Mr. Tumnus? The quickest way to help him is by going to Aslan. Once he's with us, then we can begin to do things. We have heard of Aslan coming here before, long ago. Nobody can say when, but... There's never been any of your race here before. But, Mr. Beaver, isn't the witch human? Ha! Huh. She'd like us to believe it. And it's on that she bases her claim to be queen. But she's no daughter of Eve. There isn't a drop of real human blood in the witch. That's why she's always on the lookout for humans in Narnia. She's been watching for you this many a year. And if she knew there were four of you, she'd be more dangerous still. 
four of us. But what's that got to do with it? Prophecy. Prophecy. Down at Caer Perivel, the castle on the sea coast, there are four thrones. And it is a saying in Narnia, time out of mind, that when two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve sit in those four thrones, then it will be the end. Not only of the white witch's reign, but of her life. And that is why we had to be so cautious as we came along. For if she knew there were four of you, your lives wouldn't be worth a shake of my whiskers. Oh, where's Edmund? He's gone! Mm. How long has he been missing, did you notice? No, did you? His coat's not here. Perhaps he's outside. Why the... We must be off. We'd better divide into search parties and all go in different directions. What for? Well, to look for Edmund, of course. There's absolutely no point in looking for him. We know where he's gone. Don't you understand? He's gone to her, to the White Witch. Edmund has betrayed us. He can't. He can't have done that. Can't he? <laughs> Has he ever been in this country before? Has he ever been here alone? Yes. Yes, he has. And did he tell you what he'd done? Or who he'd met? Well, no, he didn't. Then mark my words. He has already met the White Witch and joined her side and been told where she lives. I didn't like to mention it before as he was your brother and all, but the moment I laid eyes on that young fellow, I said to myself, I said, treacherous. He had the look of one who has been with the witch and eaten her food. You can always tell them when you've lived long in Narnia, something about the eyes. All the same, he is our brother. Even if he is such a little beast, we have to go and look for him. But you're not thinking of going to the witch's house. The only chance you have of saving yourselves and him is to keep away from her. But we can't! Why, don't you see? She wants to catch all four of you. She's thinking of those four thrones at Care Paravel. Well, once you were all four inside her house, her job would be done. And there'd be four new statues in her collection. Is that what she'll do to Edmund? No. She'll keep him alive as long as he's the only one she's got. To use him as a decoy, as bait, to catch the rest of you with. <laughs> Do you really want the White Witch to turn your brother and your sisters into stone? I didn't say that. She wouldn't do that. You know she wants to capture them. If she doesn't turn them to stone, what will she do? I don't know. I don't suppose she'll be very nice to them, but it'll serve them right. All these people that say nasty things about her are her enemies. Probably half of it isn't true. She was jolly nice to me anyway. Nicer than they are. Nice to you? She's a witch. She's the queen of this country. And she said I could have as much Turkish delight as I liked. 
She's also going to make me a prince. So one day, I'll be king, and I'll rule all of this. So disappear. The first thing I'll do when I'm king of Narnia is make some decent roads. Daylight's almost gone. Dark soon. I'm not afraid of the dark. Aslan. He's our only chance. It seems to me, my dears, that it's very important to know just when your brother slipped away. Had we talked about Aslan before he went? I don't remember. Yes, we had. He asked whether the witch can turn Aslan into stone too. So he did, by Jove. And just the sort of thing he would say too. And was he still here when I said the place to meet Aslan was the stone table? Because if he was, then she'll simply sledge down in that direction and get between us and the stone table and catch us on our way down. And then we'll be cut off from Aslan. No. If I know her, the moment your brother tells her that we're all here together, she'll set out to catch us this very night. You're right, Mrs Beaver. We must get away from here. There's not a moment to lose. I don't like the look of her house. Well, it's too late to turn back now. Stone. Yeah, you can't hurt me. What a stupid thing to do. It would serve you right if it came to life and bit your head off. old stone wolf. Who's there? Stand still, stranger, and tell me who you are. If you please, sir. My name's Edmund. And my name is Morgrim, chief of the White Queen's secret police. Why are you here? I'm a son of Adam. I met Her Majesty in the woods the other day. And I've come to tell her that my brother and sisters are now in Narnia. Quite close, in the beaver's house. She especially wanted to see them. Mm. I will tell Her Majesty. You stand still right there and don't move as you value your life. You told him. You betrayed your own brother and sisters. Oh, shut up. Come inside. Come in. Fortunate favourite of the Queen. Oh, 
perhaps not so fortunate. How dare you come alone? I told you again and again to bring the others with you. But I've done my best, Your Majesty. They're in the little house. On top of the dam, up the river from here, with Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. Good. And Your Majesty. Somebody else has come to Narnia. Aslan. Aslan? Here? Is this true? If I find you have lied to me. Please, Your Majesty, I'm only repeating what they said. Aslan. Aslan! Have our sledge made ready and use the harness without bells. No warning. We'll creep up silently and burst upon them. Mm -hmm. 